Hi guys, my name is Alicia and I am from a zany moment. I wanted to take a moment and explain to you the chakras and what my healing work entails when I open and balance the chakras. So we have seven primary chakras. Those are your root, your sacral, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your third eye, and your crown, which is just at the top of your head. So these primary chakras, whenever you have an emotion and you don't process it, then sometimes what happens is it gets stored around your body. In the, and if you have your chakra closed off, then it doesn't allow you to process emotions and for the energy to naturally flow in your body. So for example, let's say that you're very shy and you don't like to talk, to, you don't like to speak up for yourself. Then you'll have your throat chakra very closed off and energy or emotions about not being able to speak up for yourself will be stored in around your throat. When I connect to your energy, that's what I'll see. So if your throat chakra is closed off and you have a lot of disappointment because you say, oh, I should have spoke up for myself for this. I should have spoke up myself for that. Then when I connect to your, not, to your body, I will see like a fog like a gray fog around your throat. Sometimes I see it over the shoulder. Sometimes I see it over the different shoulder. It just depends. And then I know that it's because you need to work on your throat chakra. So once I open up your throat chakra, I will help with Reiki energy, push that energy down. So that emotion is not staying around your shoulder or your throat and it's causing you problems. The same thing happens with the third eye. If your third eye is closed off, you will get a lot of headaches, a lot of tension headaches. I've noticed a lot of people get what they get sinus infections. And opening up the third eye chakra will help balance that out. So you'll stop getting these pains. A lot of people that have um, solar plexus issues, they kind of feel like they're always full, even though they're not. Or they'll feel like, um, a good way to explain it is kind of like it's not like heartburn but it's kind of like a like an acid stomach type of feeling right there right below their their um in their solar plexus so sometimes um open these up opening these up and allowing energy to flow naturally in the body clears a lot of the symptoms that we have in the physical even though they're emotional because it's unprocessed emotions. So every time you have an emotion and you say, no, I don't wanna deal with it right now, let me think about this later, you get stored in the body. It gets stored in the emotional body. And then if it's not processed and released, then it causes our physical body some, not right away, but it can cause over time some problems because the energy is not flowing naturally. So when you have your chakras open, it allows this energy to flow. So in my healing work, where I open and balance your chakras, what I do is I teach you muscle testing, and then we check to see um, how open your chakras are with muscle testing. So we would muscle test, we would begin with your root chakra. Is my root chakra open? from zero to 10%. If you get a yes, then you know it's from zero to 10% and we keep going. If you get a, and we go on to the sacral. If you get a no, then keep, we keep going to get the number that it is. So then you would say, is my root chakra open from 10 to 20%? If you get a yes, then you know it's open from 10 to 20 and you stop. If you get a no, then you keep going. We keep going until we get a number on how open your root chakra is. And then we would test all your chakras. And then I would do the healing portion. And then again, after the healing portion, we would check your chakras again to make sure that they're open to 100%. Now, the good thing about my healing work is I'm going to, what I do is we test them before I open your chakras, then we'll test them after I open them. And then I'll send you a video that you can 
keep on your phone or whatever, and it will be available to you to heal yourself for any time that you want to open your chakras. And you can always use muscle testing to make sure that they're back to 100%. So I noticed that for myself, when I open and balance my, sh my chakras, that I, my intuition's a little bit stronger. So if I have an important decision to make, I will go ahead and open and balance them. Even though they are open, because I work on them every day, I just feel that when I open and balance them, it kind of gives me like a higher access to my intuition. So you will have access to this video so you can do self-maintenance whenever you need to, whenever you have an important um, mission that you want to tackle or something like that, or you just need more clarity on an issue, you can watch the video and do a self-healing. So that is what I'm offering in the opening and balancing is muscle testing, your chakras, and then the healing, and then the video. So you can do it whenever you want. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Namaste. I hope to see you soon so you can open and balance your chakras. Bye.